On Sunday, Warner Brothers released a trailer for the trailer of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The 30-second hype blast of aquatic action and Jason Momoa brooding teased that the actual trailer would arrive in four days, so Thursday. But for now, the studio served up a piece of video that is trailer-esque, but played more like being rapidly force-fed a day-glow seafood buffet into your eye holes. Such a marketing practice is hardly new, of course. One blogger found an example from more than a decade ago and suggested that Ridley Scott's one draft away from being a great movie Prometheus might have been the first usage. And there's some obvious method to the madness, the Aquaman Ultra Tease aired during an NFL game. So in addition to creating trailer anticipation, the promo fits the box for a standard 30-second TV spot during a high-visibility broadcast that boosts awareness of the studio's latest DC superhero effort which has had a rather eventful path to the screen. The trailer also put an end to speculative headlines suggesting that the film was in jeopardy since nobody has seen anything from this major title that's coming to theaters in just three months. Still, a fan pointedly cracked to Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom director James Wan on Instagram, lol, is this a fucking trailer for a trailer? And Wan gamely wrote back, I know, it's hilarious. It's a pretty crafty reply as it resulted in a round of headlines about his answer. Heaping some Aquaman anticipation in the news cycle while fans await the real thing and take bets on how many seconds of footage Amber Heard will get, but there's perhaps an even more obnoxious tease that studios have employed of late, beginning even a full-fledged official trailer by first showing a few rapid seconds of the trailer you're about to watch, often followed by a trailer begins now. Voiceover Assurance like this.